Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for September. Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, and this could happen at any time in September if it is for you. So, what do we have for Leo? We just had one fallout. What do we have for Leo? And another one. No, okay. Now we got three. Mmm. Casket. Someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. So this could just be the end of a situation. Work, achievement, success, and so the you're, there's hard work ahead, but you're going to be successful. Egg, self, or, or not self, success assured with good plans and hard work. So that's pretty interesting, huh? So you're going to have success in your life, but there is definitely some hard work ahead. Something or someone is going out of your life or the end of a situation. So something is coming to an end. Okay? And there is success ahead. I mean, we have success a couple times. So you're probably going to have to come up with a plan and be prepared to put in some work. Okay? Oh, we got one that fell out. No, oh, are you ready? Wish granted. So something about a wish being granted. Maybe a wish that you made a long time ago. Mm. Speeding causes accidents. So if you are in a hurry, I suggest you slow down, okay? Speeding doesn't have to just be in a vehicle. Speeding could be running, you know, it could be cutting something too fast. Speeding, people speed when they type, you know, they type too fast sometimes, you know what I mean? Speeding causes accidents. There's something that you are doing too fast, could also be somebody that you're dealing with. Okay, there's a need to slow down. The end. Something is definitely, positively coming to an end. This is the end of a story, it's the end of a chapter. Okay, let's just shuffle and see what else we get. A wish is being granted. You know, you, I just happen to focus in on this egg. It's time. It's time. It's time for, for something. It's time for a new life. What's inside that egg? A new life. Oh my goodness gracious. Your prayers have been heard. Your prayers have been heard. So your prayers have been heard. There's, there is something that is coming to an end. It feels like it's a blessing. It does. But you need to move slow into this next phase of your life. Don't rush it. Don't. Don't rush it. What do we have for Leo? Mm. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive, or and receive the highest love of all, or the highest energy of all. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It is safe for you to love. So some of you may be protecting yourself. You may be protecting yourself. That's a clear message that it is safe for you to love. Obviously that you have been betrayed. We have the Five of Swords in reverse on the bottom and the Death card. This is the end. I mean, we've had the end, what, three times? So this is the death of a situation. It is the end of a situation. It's time for a new life. But there's been some extreme betrayal, some extreme pain. It's time to be happy. It's time to let go of the emptiness. I feel like you've been struggling. Maybe you've been wanting to prove yourself to somebody. There's nothing left to prove. 
Okay, there's nothing left to prove. Maybe you just walk right into that new life, okay? This is an ending that leads to a new beginning. It's a time of transformation. You definitely have a new beginning here. You do. I feel like you need to open your heart. I feel like they've answered your prayers, obviously. I mean, obviously. Your prayers have been heard, a wish has been granted, or it's being granted right now. But you have to open your heart, and you may need to take action, because I didn't show you, but act now, think later, don't, just do it, okay, just do it, don't, don't, uh, let fear stand in the way, okay, act now, think later. What do we have for Leo? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It is safe for you to love. Just move slow, don't rush, don't rush, but do it. You know, take action, but don't rush it. Two of Cups reversed. The world, the end of no partnership, the end of no union. The world is a major completion of a cycle. Next to the Two of Cups reverse. Maybe you were in a partnership that wasn't compatible. The devil. This is a strong bond. Okay, I feel like you are definitely bound to somebody. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. That is in your future. Judgment reverse. That's a, that's a poor judgment call unaware, unaware of the bond that you have with somebody. Um, five of Wands reversed, extremely conflicted. Uh, lack of awakening, judgment reversed, is, is making a poor judgment call. Unaware, unaware of a bond. I feel like you may be unaware of something. Maybe you're unaware of a deep connection. Before I started this reading, I, I heard deep fulfillment is coming. A wish is being granted. I mean, that's what I heard. Uh, but I actually, what I, what I, the Nine of Cups, deep fulfillment is coming. Wish fulfillment. Then we get that wish, wish granted card. I feel like you have a strong bond with somebody that you may be unaware of, or you may be trying to push it away. You may be trying to fight it. Maybe you're trying to fight the connection, or they are. You are about to embark on a new journey with that world card that is the end of one cycle, the beginning of a new one. If you have been lonely, you haven't been in a partnership, you're, you're going to be deepening a bond with somebody. I know that you are and positive. Um, moving on from a bad choice. Maybe you uh, made a bad choice in the past with the judgment reverse. You know, you got yourself involved with a player by the looks of things. Looks like you got yourself in involved with a player. You may have separated from that person. You needed to learn a lesson. Okay, the world card is about a lesson learned. You needed to learn a lesson from that person. Maybe it's about going slower, not rushing into things. Maybe you rushed into things with this person. Maybe you don't do that next time. Temperance. This is a card of patience. I think our main message here today is to be patient and go with the flow and let things evolve over, evolve over time. I feel like this is definitely a lesson that has been learned. You're about to receive something even better if you haven't already. Okay. This is be patient, go with the flow, allow and accept and blend to create harmony. Don't, don't uh, stay stuck in the past, focus on the future. I think that that's where your fear comes from. We got the world card next to the temperance card. There's fear. Maybe some of you are, are fear of being in a commitment or fear of getting attached to somebody because you were in a toxic bond in the past. You have another bond here with somebody that is even better, where you can be yourself. You don't have to be ashamed. You know, you can be completely yourself with this person. 
I feel like this person is a very good match for you. I feel like there's a strong sexual connection with this person as well. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You may have dealt with a Scorpio or a Capricorn as well. But I feel like you have somebody coming in that is better than your last partnership that you may be unaware that that fear is holding you back. This person doesn't appear to be a player, but I feel like the person in the past really played with you. They really played with your emotions. They lied to you. They may have kept you in the dark. This person may have been highly competitive. Um, they didn't really want a commitment. They may have said they wanted a commitment, but they didn't really want a commitment. They may not have been over their past, but I feel like you have somebody here that is much better suited for you. This is what you've been waiting for. I feel like you really need to focus on the future. Do not let your past hurts define you, okay? It's time to move on from that bad choice. You have somebody here that uh, is so much better than the one that you were not compatible with. Knight of Coins Reverse. Whoever you are dealing with in the past uh, we got Judgment Reverse, Knight of Coins Reverse, and the Devil. So this is somebody that was toxic, that was unhealthy, that may have had some addictions. This person wasn't stable. They really weren't interested in a commitment. Um, could be a Scorpio or a Capricorn. I'm not sure. But this person uh, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. This person... Uh, wasn't qualified for the position that you had for them. They weren't qualified. They were not interested in putting in the work. I feel like you have somebody here that uh, is so much better suited for you. You should give them a chance. But I feel like you're very, very fearful of giving them a chance. Maybe you're fearful of change, of stepping into unknown territory. Eight of Coins. Page of Coins reversed, putting in effort, working hard, um, but dropping out. Not It's interesting because Eight of Coins is about putting in a lot of effort. You need to work on letting go of the past, forgiving the past, because it's the judgment in reverse is the past and it's lack of forgiveness. Underneath it is the Eight of Coins. You need to work on that. You need to work on releasing the past and not letting your, uh, whoever it was that didn't put in effort that, you know, had a wandering eye, that player, player, player. You, ha you definitely dealt with a player in the past. The Page of Coins reverse and the Five of Wands reverse. Those are both player cards. Yeah, you worked with a player in, a, in the past, but I feel like now now you need to uh, release that. You, you need to move on from that bad choice and accept that you have something better here. You definitely have something better. This is, this is uh, the beginning of a whole new life with somebody where you can totally, totally just be yourself. You know, you don't have to be somebody else. Like you can walk away, I don't know where this is coming from. It's like you can, it's like you can walk around naked without worry about what they're going to say. Temperance is a card of evolution. Everything happens for a reason. Going with the flow. It's, it's divine timing and it is with that egg as well it's, there's some sort of divine timing here you need to stop going back to the past and I'm not and when I say that people automatically think that you're in love with the past I don't think that that's what this is I feel like this has to do with past experiences past uh, memories, past mistakes, you know, I feel like you, I feel like you need to stop uh, letting the past hinder you from experiencing the joy that you can have in your life. Yeah, you may have made some poor judgment calls, but they caused your evolution, they built your character. You need to stop hashing out the past. Know your value. You are very, very valuable. Whoever you dealt with in the past was toxic. 
they were unhealthy. I feel like they had some sort of addictions, but they caused your evolution at the same time. Now you're a whole new you, you're a whole new person, you're not that same person anymore. That partner brought you to this place where now you're ready to mingle or get together with this person that is here. I feel like this person is here that you do have a deep connection with. But if you keep repeating the past mistakes or going over the past, and if you let great fear, you know, great inner conflict, you know, if you're dealing with a lot of inner conflict about the past, what happened in the past, hinder your opportunity with this new person, then have you really learned your lesson? I got a sneeze coming. Anyhow, I feel like your prayers have been heard. A wish has been granted. You have somebody here that is so much better. It's time for you to not look back and step into new territory. But I think one of the biggest lessons, and this is, the temperance is a lesson and the world is a lesson. They're both together. And maybe in the other, above it is a two of cups reverse. That's failed partnership. So there's a lesson about a failed partnership. And you want me to tell you what it is? Speeding causes accidents. Rushing into, it's right over on top of the two of cups reverse. Rushing into a partnership is gonna cause an accident. You gotta get to know somebody first. You gotta communicate with them. You don't just let them move in with you, you know? Or you don't just move in with them. If, that, if that's what you do, then you're desperate. And when you're desperate, you're gonna cause somebody, you're gonna grab onto somebody that is toxic. Okay, because that person is looking for somebody that is vulnerable. Anyhow, I do believe that uh, you should put in effort into letting go of your past. You know, maybe it's self-doubt. You doubt. You doubt that anything's going to work out. You doubt that anything's going to be solid. You doubt that anything is real. You got to let go. And there's self-loathing. You got to let go. You got to let go of those doubts and just... Do it. Just step into unknown territory. Go slow. Take your time. There's no hurry. Baby steps. If you are in a hurry, I don't think it's going to work out. And that's a fact. I really don't think it's going to work out. Timing. Patience. Be patient. Be patient. You know, there may be somebody here that is uh, rejecting you. They may be rejecting you because, I, I don't know if there could be a rejection here. There could be. And maybe it's because you're trying to rush things. Take your time. Seizing a new opportunity. That is taking an opportunity. Now I'm interested. Somebody is, is now going to be taking an opportunity. Letting go of regret. It's the end of stagnation, right? Looking forward now. The, the world card is looking forward now as well. Open your heart. Is an, taking an opportunity for love. Okay? I do believe that there is an opportunity for love here. This is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. This is a very strong bond that you have with somebody. This could be the end of loneliness, the end of, if you're independent, the end of independent. This could be coming together with somebody that is a perfect match, but you can't hash out the past. 
This is new, right? This is a new life. This is a new partner. It is a new union. Don't let the past drop out that wasn't really committed, that played with you, hold you back from love, whatever this is. So I believe that you are probably receiving an offer or you're getting together or you're deepening a bond with somebody that you are struggling with really opening up to. Now this could go vice versa. They could be struggling with opening up to you. You know, it could go vice versa. I feel like we definitely have somebody here that is moving too fast that needs to slow their ass down. Um, and it could be the person you're dealing with. Maybe you're feeling uncomfortable with them moving too fast. I mean, this could go vice versa. We got somebody here that is moving too fast. They need to be patient and let the union evolve. You know, it takes time. When you build a commitment, when you build a foundation, you, you think about the three little pigs, okay? You wanna, if you build it fast without thinking, it is not gonna last. It takes time to build a strong foundation. And there's going to be problems along the way. So anyhow, there is. I feel like um, work, achievement, success. Success assured with good plans and hard work. There is hard work ahead. As you are in the process of creating a new life, I believe, with another person. There is going to be problems along the way there is if you think of when you're building think about building a house there's going to be hurdles it's going to be hard work so i think that you got some hard work ahead um you do have the end of a situation here with the death card the world card the casket card the judgment card i feel like it's time for you to move on from that bad choice forgive yourself There is not one person in this world that hasn't made a shitload of poor judgment calls. All of those poor judgment calls have built their character and taught them major life lessons. Chalk it up to a lesson learned and step into no, new territory with faith, okay? And don't give up. And even though there may be some roadblocks, there's no need to hurry because you're building a strong foundation, right? Good luck.